So we're going to um, break up the motion of the pendulum into two parts. There's the um, the side to side motion, which is essentially um, radial, sorry, tangential. So it only moves, it only acts um, sort of this way around the circle. And then we'll also look at the um, the radial part, and then we'll look at those two combined. So I don't know what I can call that. I suppose I could just call that the centripetal part. OK. So the side to side motion, um, hopefully we can see that it's moving at a constant speed here. So we would expect no acceleration from that part. And then um, at the edges, we'd expect a maximum acceleration pointing inwards like this. And um, we can we can visualize that as well by just thinking about if we were to let go of the pendulum, what acceleration would there be immediately after we let go? If we let go with the pendulum in the middle, we, it would do nothing. The centripetal is dependent only on the velocity, and the greater the velocity, the greater the centripetal acceleration. Now, since the um, velocity is zero at the edges, we would expect no centripetal acceleration at the edges but there would be a maximum centripetal acceleration at the center. So when I combine that whole thing together, I don't know why I'm changing color, I might as well just stick with pink. Um, I end up with something that looks a bit like this. And you can figure out what the midpoints would be somewhere in between those two.